Yes, absolutely. So, um, <clears throat> so my name is Brian Fleming. Um, I am the executive director for a center at Southern New Hampshire University called the Sandbox Collaborative. Uh, the Sandbox Collaborative um, is focused on kind of early stage ideation and uh, innovation management of promising new ideas and initiatives uh, that we uh, bring to the university. So um, Southern New Hampshire University, you may be aware of, is, is now uh, one of the largest nonprofit online providers in the country. Um, we primarily serve working adults and folks that are kind of en route to completion um, and have increasingly um, been focused on kind of the emerging space of alternative non-degree credentials, uh, digital credentials, et cetera, um, and trying to discover ways in which those intersect with our existing portfolio and what those opportunities may be. So um, in my role, I have overseen uh, what we call our Digital Credentials Lab, which is a team of experts that we've pulled together from around the country to investigate this space, to do a lot of research in this space, uh, to um, conduct some pilots and some experiments in this space, which we're still currently doing. Um, and so I think anytime there is a meaningful discussion happening about this space, it, it behooves us to be there. Um, I think I was really drawn to this event given its global focus, because I think that um, it's often in a U.S. context very easy for us to sort of think about these things in our own terms and in our own categories and based on our own sets of problems that we're trying to solve. And while that's, of course, very valuable and important work, um, I think that all of us should be engaged in thinking about connecting credentials across um, global contexts. Um, otherwise, I think we risk not only being irrelevant, particularly as economies continue to go global, but I think we miss the richness of discussion and the collaboration that occurs, um, particularly as we think about the problems our colleagues are trying to solve in other contexts and, and the similarities and the differences and what we can learn from each other. So, so excited to be here. It's a, great, uh, it's a great event, already some good panels. Yeah, I mean, I think that events always have to control for this idea that you want experts and you want people who have done things and people who have ideas um, and people who have evidence to point to of, of interesting activities and in ways in which they have um, um, you know, executed against different ideas and even scaled some interventions. I think the challenge with that is often not allowing the conversation to be problem specific and solutions oriented. And what I mean by that is I think um, we always have to avoid the trap of what I call solutionitis, which is, you know, here are a bunch of things that are happening without really kind of taking stock of what are the problems we're trying to solve. And so sort of integrating more design-based approaches uh, to the conversation is something that I'm always very keen to see happen. Um, it's certainly what I'm going to try to do in my panel, um, which is to, to really ask, you know, from your own setting or context, um, you know, we certainly know what you're doing. There's a reason you're invited here, but to take a step back and say, but what problems are you solving? Like, what are you, what's kind of keeping you up at night or your organization up at night? What's your, um, what is your kind of existing problem set? And, and what are the ways in which you're solutioning around that? Because I think there's always a concern. Um, and I think particularly when you have a conversation that's globally minded um, to sort of seek these big kind of universal solutions that don't work in all contexts and they don't work for all settings and they don't work for all audiences. Um, and I think that when we take a step back and really start from kind of the, the problem sets and the, and the problem spaces that we're working within, I think it just creates a much richer conversation.